In this video, Anna Tyson, Jessica Blair, and Madeline Adams are going to demonstrate how to properly use a balance. When using an analytical balance, there is some uncertainty behind the measurement. Each balance has a small amount of error. However, one can prevent this from altering the results by using the same balance throughout the duration of the experiment. For using the balance, make sure to wipe the surface of it with a paper towel to remove any excess substances. Do this when finishing the experiment as well. There are also some external effects that cause the readout to shift. This is because the analytical balance is hypersensitive. To prevent this, one must make sure to close the doors of the balance to avoid external pressure because it will skew the data. Also avoid leaning on the table while using the balance because it will adversely affect the measurements due to more external pressure on the balance. Jessica starts out by pairing the balance and finding out the mass of the beaker. Notice how she gently places the beaker in the balance and closes its doors. The beaker measured 36.62 grams, which should be recorded in the notebook. She removes the beaker from the balance to add the solution. She puts 10 milliliters of water into the beaker. Now Jessica places the beaker with the solution into the analytical balance and reads off the measurement of 46.18 grams to record in the data notebook. In order to find the mass of the solution sample, Jessica subtracts the mass of the beaker and the solution from the original mass of the beaker, which would also be recorded in the notebook. Now Madeline is going to repeat the same experiment as done before. Now Anna is going to repeat the same experiment as done before. Here is our data table for the beaker measurement. The column labeled mass of the apparatus represents the mass of the empty beaker. The second column has the measurements for the mass of the beaker and the solution. The next column shows the mass of the solution, while the fourth column is the volume of the solution placed in the beaker. The last column represents the density of the solution, which is mass divided by volume.